Hi, I wanted to jump on and do a little EFT um, session this morning. Um, something that's been coming up in quite a few client sessions recently um, in circles is body image. And this tends to be exacerbated in summer when we've got more of us on show. Um, so what I'm hearing is self-consciousness, um, you know, insecurity about how we look, um, carrying extra weight, feeling, you know, not great about it. Um, and it can be really common, you know, it, it comes up for me as well sometimes, you know, doing yoga, look in the mirror and I have in my mind how I think I look, which is really lithe and lovely. And I look and I see, you know, a little muffin top and not great posture. And, um, and it's easy to compare with others who look amazing. So connecting with how we feel and allowing ourselves to feel what we feel and also l welcoming in some nourishing messages around our bodies can be really helpful to stop that spiral. I'm going to share in the um, in the comments a poem that I really love by Mary Oliver about um, letting your body love what it loves. Um, paraphrasing there because you know alongside that alongside the body image for a lot of women can be you know dieting denying themselves what they want um, and it, it can be a really joyless existence either kind of going one full spectrum of eating it and drinking everything you want and then feeling really rubbish about it or um, yeah, denying, um, you know, food is a joy, it, you know, it's, it, our bodies are a joy, our bodies are amazing. Uh, and if we can, if we get into that kind of all or nothing or feast or famine kind of mode, um, it can just, it can just suck the joy out of life really. Um, and this is one life and it's very precious and this is one body and it's very precious. So I personally try wherever possible to take the middle ground. Um, sometimes for health reasons I will do a cleanse and sometimes if I feel like I've just had lots of excess after holidays or after Christmas I, I might do a cleanse as well or I might just cut out refined sugars and you know other things but I never eat less you know I never kind of I never want to feel like really hungry or really empty I like to you know be in kind of some kind of balance with my body and um let my body have what it wants and let me have what I want. So, um, but like a regular human being, I do have my own insecurities. So I wanted to share this for anybody that is struggling with any kind of self image, just to give it some space um, and to tap into those feelings and to drop in some positive messages. So um, tapping is either hand, um, two or three fingers so I'm going to do it in a particular way but feel free to modify if you do if you do it in another way um it's really hot in my office which is why I have this very sweaty glow on <laughs> so um yeah overlook that okay let's kind of get centered so I like to do it with a hand on my belly a hand on my heart and just let's take some breaths in together <sighs> letting the breath go anyway it feels good And perhaps bringing your mind into your body and just noticing what's going on in your body right now. Noticing any areas of tension. Any knottiness. Any rigidity. Just letting it be as it is, but maybe breathing into those areas. welcoming ourselves as we land here in this moment. So it's just going to be a few minutes of tapping. So I'm going to say the words and then just repeat them after me. Okay. And if I say something that doesn't resonate, just use your own words. Even though 
there are parts of me that I don't really like sometimes. I deeply and completely choose to love all of me. Even though there are parts of me that I don't approve of, I am open to loving and accepting all of me. Even though there are some parts of me that I don't like and I feel ashamed or embarrassed about, I choose to deeply and completely love and accept all of me. It feels really hard when I judge myself. I end up feeling not good enough. I end up comparing myself to other people. And it makes me feel less than and insecure. I would really like to feel comfortable <clears throat> in my own skin. I would really like to have a kinder relationship with my entire being. I would love to love this body that I'm in and enjoy being in this body. That's one round of EFT. Okay, let's keep going. Even though sometimes I don't feel good enough and I criticize myself, I choose to love and accept all of me. Even though sometimes I don't like how I look, I choose to embrace all of me. Even though sometimes I have a negative inner critic, I really want to have an inner cheerleader too. I don't feel good enough sometimes. Sometimes I look at my body and my face and it doesn't feel good enough. And I compare myself to others and I don't feel good enough. And it makes me feel small and rubbish. I would really like to have a more relaxed relationship with my body. I would really love to feel more at peace with this body. I would love to be comfortable in my own skin. I'm just gonna have a drink of water. So with EFT, it's really important to be hydrated when we tap. Okay, let's do one last round. Even though it's easy for me to feel not good enough, I choose to embrace the amazing being that I am. Even though it's easy for me to criticize myself, I choose to find joy in my being. Even though when I compare myself to others, I feel less than and not enough. I choose to notice all that is beautiful in me. What if I am enough? What if this amazing body that has carried me through life and got me through so much just wants my kindness and compassion. What if I can be a friend to my body? 
What if I can learn to listen to my body? What if I can take a middle path and enjoy what brings me joy? What if this body doesn't define me? What if it is the light inside that matters? What if all of me matters? I choose to be open to loving all of me. I choose to lovingly take care of all of me. I choose to embrace this body as it is, not when it's any different. I choose peace with this body. I choose to take this body through life joyously. I choose to nourish this body with kindness. I choose to nourish all of me with kindness. So that's just a little um, few rounds of EFT. You can change those words up to anything you want. So however your relationship with your body is and whatever it is that you may or may not do around food, um, you can work with EFT, um, you know, even though I have this, whatever it is. And then the positive, I choose to lovingly accept myself or I'm open to lovingly accept myself. And then just have a running commentary going down. Um, some points you might feel like you might want to stay on more. Um, I personally like the top of the head. I like the chest point. Um, so just remember to intersperse, allow the headspace to be what the headspace is. And if you might have a really strong inner critic that just wants to criticize you, let it have some space, let it, let it be heard. Um, it's not going to reinforce anything. It's just acknowledging how you really feel. And there is a real power to hearing actually what we, the negative inner critic says, hearing it out loud and noticing, would we ever speak to anybody else like that? If we did, they probably wouldn't want to hang around with us. So let it have its moment, let it say its peace. And then just drop in some, what if I am enough? What if this is enough? What if I can learn to be kinder? What if being as I am is okay? Anything like that, anything that feels gentle and kind and compassionate. Thank you for joining me and I hope you found this helpful.